What's up guys, Sleepy Jirachi here, and today I'm going to go over custom moves. I want to do all custom moves in a single video. Um, it might take a while, and in the description I will put where um, each character's time starts. Not equipment. We're going to go to the specials, and I have all the custom moves through power saves. This is Fireball. Okay, you already know how normal Mario goes, I assume. He also has fast fireball. We'll do the second of each one, and then we'll just we'll just do this. We'll, we can get through it rather quickly if we do it this way. So, um, this is number two. This is the fast fireball, the electric cape, stuff like that. Fast fireball goes pretty fast. It doesn't go very far, but it goes fast, and it does decent damage. I don't know. The electric cape does not deflect projectiles, so it kind of defeats the purpose of the cape, but it does do a decent amount of damage. Um, this one, I don't think. I think it just has. Oh wait, no. You don't hit. It's literally, there's no punch. You just jump. And then this, I believe, is the Scalding Hot Flood. So, yeah, that's that. That's all of his, that's all of his secondary moves. And we can now look at his third moves. Alright, so this one is the three, Fire Orb. This, the three is pretty cool, um... Some of these are pretty, actually, pretty impressive. Custom moves are awesome. Custom moves are definitely one of the coolest things they've put in these games. I'm a huge fan of custom moves. The huge fireball is very slow, but very haxy. Um, this cape is actually just a gust of wind. kind of blows you away. It does do damage, but it definitely has a lot of knockback with it. Try it. There we go. So you get that wind in there. That's pretty cool. Um, this flood is a high-powered flood. That's what it was. I don't. I don't think it does damage. It might just push you back farther, but it takes a little bit longer to charge. And then the up B is explosive. It's not big at all, but it does get that explosion factor in there, which is pretty neat. So that's the that is the fire orb, the gust cape. That's not the gust cape. The gust cape, explosive punch, and the high pressure flood. Which is all pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. I would say it's pretty neat. And then now we'll just do we'll do Luigi. I don't need to save that. But they have they force you to go back to the character menu and then we're gonna go I already have a custom Luigi I made customs of a few characters just just to try them out and now I'm gonna show them all to you now this is the stock fireball this is number two the bouncing fireball throw a fireball that bounces along the ground gradually loses power number two for his side special is the floating missile number two for the up special is fiery jump punch and number two for the down special now remember his down special is Luigi cyclone so he gets the max cyclone this time and we'll go over these now That is the bouncing fireball. It does, believe it or not, it bounces. It kind of fits Luigi nature where it doesn't really, it kind of flops. Uh, this is the side special, is the floating missile. Now, this goes farther. Well, he has to, you have to not poop, but it goes a little bit farther, I believe, but doesn't really do as much damage. Or something like that. Let's see again. <laughs> I love that. This is the fiery jump punch. Now, I was never a fan of Luigi's up special just because of that downfall. I believe it doesn't do any damage coming back down. That's that's the interesting thing. And the max cyclone is just kind of like the gusty wind thing where it blows you away. I don't I don't know if it even does damage. Oh, it does damage on the ending, but by the time you get to the end, you're already blown away. So there's not really a whole lot there we go. You can you can run you can run into it if you try that. So there we go. That was the bouncing fireball, the floating missile, the fiery jump punch, which goes absolutely nowhere, and the max cyclone. Now we'll try Luigi's number three. All of them have three individual moves, and I'm hoping there's room for like a fourth. So maybe there's DLC moves. I don't know. It it sounds like it'd be plausible, you know. 
All right, so this is the ice ball. That, I feel like, is pretty cool. It does ice damage instead of fire damage, and it floats pretty neat. Um, I'm actually, I, I actually based my other Luigi with an ice costume, and I made him based around this ice ball. This is the, this is the fast missile. This one goes quick. <laughs> okay, ready? That did a pretty decent amount of damage, too. Uh, I believe it also goes a lot farther. definitely goes a lot farther this is the burial header when it comes down now you can't see it on sandbag which kind of sucks but when the the up does minimum damage when you come down you can actually bury people in the ground with your head and this is the clothesline cyclone which i think rather than wind actually does more damage so that one's kind of that one's kind of nice that's kind of nice, actually, but, like, I, as a lot of, I like my up specials to kind of, I don't know. I guess with Kirby, I can't really say that, but, uh. That was the Ice Ball, the Quick Missile, the Burial Header, and the Clothesline Cyclone. There you go. There you have it, folks. Now, let's, oh, I accidentally saved it. Damn it. I don't want that. And now let's go to the next character. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes it brings you back to the character menu. We're going to go to Peach. I already made my Daisy, which was actually really cool. I boosted the speed way, way up to make it... I don't know. I feel like Daisy's faster than Peach for some reason. Uh, let's look at her specials. Obviously, she has her neutral, but... Number two for her standard special is Sleepy Toad. Now, that can't really be tested on um, Sandbag, but we'll still try it. Number two is Flower Bomb for her side special. Uh, number two is the parasol high jump. You don't open your thing when you do that. And the light veggie is her down special. We'll test those out right now. Alright. Now this is the sleepy toad. It's not going to work because it's supposed to be a counter. So we can't really show that off here. But when someone does hit you... When someone does hit you, it will um, shoot out sleep stuff, and it will, rather than bounce back and attack, it will put your opponent to sleep. Uh, this is the flower bomb. Now, it's it plants a flower, like lipstick, what lipstick does. But if you do it and miss, you're vulnerable for a pretty long while. She just kind of chills there. This is the parasol high jump. You don't open your parasol, but you do go a lot higher. Uh, it seems a lot of the characters have that theme where they have this super high, but with a lot of stakes. This is the light veggie. Super floaty. So it's kind of easy kind of easy to make combos with, if you know what you're doing, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I kind of used Peach at a time. I tried her out from time to time, but I was never huge on Peach. I was never huge on Peach. Now let's try her second batch, Grumpy Toad, not a counterattack. Flower Flying Peach Bomb. It's a lot more powerful, but it's harder to land. Light Parasol. And Heavy Veggie. These should be interesting. There is the Flying... No, what is it? Light Parasol. When you open your Parasol, it actually lifts you up a little bit. This is the Grumpy Toad. So it instantly does damage. There's no no, there's no uh, counter attack here. Which is pretty cool. The Flying Peach Bomber, you have to hit. If you're close, it works. If you're too far, you're probably going to overshoot. If you can spot someone in the air, it's kind of like Wolf's uh, side B. Wolf's not in this game. But Sandbag's pretty easy to hit. So that's, that's not the best example. And this is the heavy veggie. It's very heavy and it's kind of... That's why it's it doesn't go far and it's harder to make combos with just because it goes pretty much straight down. So it's the light veggie I feel like is personally better. But those were Peach's custom moves. Shit, I always do that. I did not mean to do that. And now we're going to try... What's what's up? We got 3 out of 50 so far. We're almost there. 
I made I, I kind of like Bowser a lot, so I made multiple uh, Bowsers. He has some pretty cool specials. Now, for his number two for standard, he has the fire shot. His number two for side special is the dash slam. His number two for flying fortress, no, whirling fortress is flying fortress. Up special and down special is turbulent bomb. And now we're going to try them out. Okay, so his normal one is fire shot. It shoots a fireball instead of fire breath. It doesn't go any, like, smaller, so that's, like, a bonus, I guess. And it's pretty quick, too. Uh, his side is dash slam. It's not going to work on him. But essentially what this does is it's the same as... I love Bowser's run. I love Bowser's run. He looks so badass. Um, essentially what it would do is... You know Bowser's side special suicide bomb, the move that I like to use... Um, this one essentially dashes at the opponent and does it. So it's kind of it's kind of better. Up special is the Flying Fortress. You shoot high up in the air. But you don't do as much damage. I don't think you do any damage, actually. It just does minor knockback, I guess, and no damage. Um, and then down is the Turbulent Bomb. That one's kind of more, I feel like, pushy. It pushes you away. See, it's more like the wind factor again, like they've been doing with most of the Mario Bros. stuff. Um, so that's pretty interesting. His other down special is really cool, and I will show you that in a second. His another standard special is Fire Roar, which I like personally. Dash Slam is his side special. Sliding Fortress is his up special. And Slip Bomb is his down special. Now... Let's try these out. Slip Bomb, I like. I personally like Slip Bomb. Slip Bomb! It essentially makes people slip when they're near you. Where, or, like, if you don't hit them, obviously it's not going to do it to him. It still does damage. His normal is Fire Roar, a lot more powerful, but goes away a lot quicker, and you can't charge very quickly. It takes a while to charge. Dash Slam actually doesn't do the Suicide Bomb, but you still go to the side and you still dash, so it's like, BAM! It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa, that is his up B is Sliding Fortress. It's actually a lot easier to move side to side, but it doesn't get a lot of vertical air. You know, you gotta, and this is Slip Bomb, obviously. You will not hit them up in the air like his typical uh, down special. And that was, that was all those moves. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. No, we're not going to save. Uh, it looks like maybe we're just going to do the first row for this episode, and then the next episode I'll do the next row. Next episode I'll do the next row. Next episode I'll do the next row. Next episode I'll do this row, and then the final episode I'll do these few. So let's go to Yoshi. His number two for side standard special, sorry, is Lick. Heavy Egg Roll, which I'm not a personal fan of, but you might be. High Jump, and Star Bomb. Uh, if you didn't see, I actually battled someone named Senpai, who is on Twitter as Senpai. And um, they did use a custom Kirby. They used a Star Bomb. The Star Bomb is really cool, in my opinion, because um, the stars do a decent amount of damage, and it has a lot of range. This is the heavy egg roll. It doesn't last long, and it goes really slowly. And it doesn't even do that much damage, if you ask me. But, um... The stars do more damage on this thing than anything else. This is Lick. I don't even think it gets an egg. You just dash forward with a like. It says surprisingly effective, and it is surprisingly effective. Um, and then what did I miss? The high jump. He still throws an egg. He still has that animation, but he doesn't actually do it. So if you're going like this, you can actually use it multiple times in the air, which is actually really cool. Um, after a few times, you stop getting vertical. Watch. Three times, and then you don't go vertical anymore. But it's still pretty cool. Oh, this one you actually get a fourth jump out of. One, two, three... Fourth doesn't go up when you're already in the air, but it will when you're on the ground. That's interesting. Uh, that could use more testing, actually. It builds up. It builds up, but it doesn't... It's not... It's not what I want, personally. You know. And now we're going to try the third row. Egg launch. Light egg roll. T 
timed egg throw, and a crushing bomb. You know, whoever wrote the little, like, wordings for this is pretty funny, actually. I, I feel like they did a pretty good job. We got the egg launch. That's, that's the egg launch. Now, what it does is it would... It can't happen to sandbag, and it's really stupid that it can't. They should have done that. But uh, what it would do is it would take the person, and it would shoot the egg way out. But uh, it wouldn't. They would. It would be a lot easier to break out of. This the up special here will do. It does good damage and it explodes, but it won't hit people like the normal egg will. It will go right through people and then explode later on. Uh, apparently, it does a little bit of movement here, but. Um, the down special is Crushing Bomb. Very powerful. However, it does not create stars, so it doesn't have a huge amount of, uh, like, range here. But still really powerful. Really powerful move. Uh, they actually made Yoshi pretty good. This is the light egg roll. It goes a lot faster, but it also bounces. And it's kind of hard to stop. Actually, you only get one bounce, which is kind of lame. No, I expected more from these kinds of things. But it does bounce, and it does a decent amount of damage, and all these moves are pretty good, I think. I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool, pretty cool. And that was Yoshi's. Now we are going to move on to try... Rosalina's. I did make a really fast Rosalina. Of course, when you make things, you have to sacrifice other areas. She, her number two is Luma Warp. Floaty Star Bit, Launch Star Plus, and Catch and Release. Now, a lot of these moves, it would be better if they had, like, an actor here, like a Mario dummy or something, instead of a stupid sandbag. But, um, Luma Warp ju basically just moves Luma. It does really small damage, and it's not as cool as you think. The star bit thing is pretty cool. You can't spawn another one until that one's dead. And it's a really big star bit. But, uh... This is the down special. It should uh, draw characters into you like that. Like that, yeah, pretty much. She's got that cool shit going on. And then, of course, star launch plus huge jump. But no control over where you're going. And, of course, no damage can't control yourself until afterwards. So you can't control it. And uh, Luma Warp is kind of lame. To be honest. I don't know, like, if you want to, like, oh, wow, Luma, go over there and go like that. That's That might be useful if you've got, like, a tactic going on there, but I don't know. I, I feel like I've just been, uh... I've just been bashing a lot of these specials. But Power Luma Shot, I really like. Shooting Star Bit is okay. I'm personally a fan of just the Star Bits, but Shooting Star Bit, you'll see. Um, the Launch Star Attack is pretty neat. And then Guardian Luma is really interesting. It's really interesting. Um, this is the Power Luma Shot. Super powerful. Super awesome. I really like this one. It's like, well, I'm charging. Like, obviously, it takes a bunch of charge time. But uh, the longer you charge, I believe, the farther it goes. Or the more damage it does. It still goes pretty far. The star bit is just a long-range star bit that shoots really quickly. So it's like, you could kind of auto-fire this to an extent. I like the personal... Personally, like the star bits. This is launch star attack. Which is pretty cool. It doesn't go as high, but it still goes pretty high for Rosalina, especially. And this is Guardian Luma. It does a little bit of damage, and it blocks incoming attacks. And it also makes Luma huge and look like a peep. Doesn't it kind of look like a peep? Anyway, that was Rosalina. And her peep. And, um... Obviously, we're not going to save that one. We just have two more, three more to do in this row. Right here, we're going to look at Piercing Cannon, Koopa Drift, Meteor Ejection, and Impatient Mecha Koopa. Feel free to pause on any of those if you wanted the description. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to rush, you know. 
I feel like it's better to look than to read. This is the piercing cannon. I believe it's just faster, maybe more powerful. A little bit. I might be able to break shields, too. Of course, we won't be able to test that with stupid what's-his-face. This is the Koopa Drift. Which, um... I think what's really important here is the fact that you can go like this and basically fuck people up. The meteor ejection barely goes anywhere. But it does explode for pretty minor damage. I don't know. I'm I'm not going to bash it. You know, if you guys are into that. This is the impatient uh, dude. Let me do it from a farther distance so you guys can really see what's actually going on. He doesn't walk. He will not walk. I want to I make him blow up on Sandbag so we can see how much damage he does. Four damage, not a whole lot. I don't know. Decent amount, decent amount, you know. Uh, Bowser Jr. is one of my favorites, actually. Like, I haven't played a lot with him. Uh, this one will bash through multiple fighters. That's its piercing part. The air cannon blasts opponents with wind. The grounding dash buries foes and ends in an auto spin. The Koopa Meteor launches high into the air before the Junior Con Car. That's pretty interesting. That I would like to see. I haven't actually tried that one. And the big Mecha Koopa is a big Mecha Koopa. This is exciting. So it's a short dash, but it does a decent amount of damage. I'm trying to get the spin on him. Alright, fine, 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 I see. The air cannon does no damage and just blasts a lot of air. That I kind of like that, actually. Uh, the Koopa Meteor is awesome. That is a really fucking cool move. I mean, it's not good for recovery at all because it literally won't let you move and then it shoots you straight downwards. But it does a lot of damage and it's pretty powerful. And it's probably a Meteor Smash. I mean... If I could only somehow test it in the air, you know. Oh, there's the big Mecha Koopa. And you can throw it! I didn't even know you could pick these things up. Not bad, not bad. That was it. I kind of like his third set of moves, to be honest. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Pretty cool with the moves. Pretty cool with the moves. Now we've got Wario. Who has Inhaling Chomp. Speeding Bike. Wide Screw. And Rose Scented Waft. Waft? 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 I don't know. Suicune. Hey, Suicune. All right, we've got Inhaling Chomp, which is a Kirby... Uh... No, it doesn't work on him because he's considered an item, so he'll just eat him. But the speeding bike is, I guess, a quicker bike. You can't turn around. Damn it, bike. Yeah, you can't turn around. But it's still interesting. The corkscrew goes like that. It's, uh, I guess, his power-up move. And then he's got the rose-scented waft. Which I'm not... I'm gonna have to read what that one did because I'm not entirely sure how that's different. Because it's rose-scented? Release noxious gas that makes flowers grow on your opponent's head. Okay, that makes sense. A uh, quick waft, Noxious, it charges more quickly, but it's less offensive. Uh, the Corkscrew Leap takes longer to charge and doesn't deal damage, but goes higher. The Burying Bike is slower and heavier, but buries people. And he has Garlic Breath. <clears throat> so that's, that's all pretty interesting. Let's go with the Garlic Breath. It won't hurt people, but it will take a while to do that. This is the burying bike. You can turn around, but it's just a lot slower. 
Uh, the corkscrew leap doesn't take that long to charge, I wouldn't say. And it does, it goes pretty high, I don't know. And the quick waft doesn't do much. I'm out of here, guys. I'm out of here. My computer gets kind of loud sometimes. Now we're going to go and take a look at Game & Watch, and that will be the final one for this row. Game & Watch has XXL Chef, flings massive food, lower range and slower but more powerful. Extreme Judge, only one or nine will appear, but the latter isn't quite as devastating as usual, which kind of ruins the point, doesn't it? Uh, heavy trampoline, lower vertical distance, but you do way more damage on the way up. And efficient panic, the bucket fills more quickly, but it deals less damage. Let's try these out then. Those are definitely huge fish. So pretty much custom moves are basically, um, minor manipulations to already existing moves. It doesn't change. There's not a lot they change. It's just like, oh, let's make his projectiles bigger. Uh, we got one, 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 nine. Not bad, not bad. One. Do a lot more damage on the way up, but you don't go as high. But you still get the uh, that thing, so you can still get some pretty long distance going on here. Uh, the Efficient Panic. That, I believe we need damage or something. Projectiles, I'm not sure. And now we're going to do his final moves. Short Order Chef. Chain Judge. Trampoline Launch. And Panic Overload. Uh, we got Short Order Chef, which I believe is, wow, that's a lot quicker and pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that. It's like, wow, eat all this food really fast. Eat all this food really fast. Uh, we got the Chain Judge. Oh, which will hit depending on how many times what the nut, ooh, that was pretty cool. That's, that's a pretty cool move. It would be cool if it did damage equal to the number as well, because then you would get like four 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 four, or like four 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 four, or like two two, or like nine 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 nine. I kind of like that. I, I kind of like that a lot. Trampoline launch doesn't do. Oh, it launches you higher, but I guess you don't get the. That's kind of lame, to be honest. And then panic overload, we can't see. So that was all the moves I could show you today. Um, stay tuned. Most likely tomorrow, I will have the next row. For you guys i will do this row of custom moves the next day we will do this the next day we will do this and then maybe this will be one long special i don't know but we'll do diddy kong or donkey kong next and then we'll go on from there so if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave a like uh and like subscribe and stuff and i will see you guys at another time goodbye my friends